Hey guys, Min here from Dental Tech Tips. Been getting a lot of questions on the study group lately about how we do these uh, wax up bridge workflows. And basically, the, if you don't know what that is, is how we do take a pattern, any kind of pattern, usually a full arch, and how we attach that to a um, scan body scanner, like an implant scan, right? So basically, <clears throat> we're setting up up either via crown and bridge, temp on prep. Um, my, my new favorite lately is actually to use the, the denture module just because you end up getting, um, you know, teeth set up in perfect bilaterally balanced occlusion and then you just attach them to these uh, scans here and it's, it's a very quick efficient workflow. So <clears throat> as you can see here what I did is, is I set these up in the denture module upper and lower. Um, don't mind the space here because I did open the video. So um, it is closed properly in, in the design software, but uh, for this case, we actually have it. Uh, we're going to have to verify with the doctor on the finals. Um, so he's going to take it, check the occlusion, check everything, make sure everything is good, take a note by registration. I'll, I'll readapt this lower to the, the new final scan. In any case, um, if you're using the new implant bridge workflow with crowns, bridges, and gingiva, that's really nice too because then you're setting them essentially up as pontics and then attaching everything together at, at the last step, which is essentially what we've been doing for quite a few years with this, this workflow here. So anyways, what we need to do here is, um, you can see this scan, uh, kind of the first hurdle that you need to kind of come across is the wax up bridge, implant wax up bridge workflow only works with scanned in desktop scan models that have DCM and coordinates embedded into the DCM already. So <coughs> the way we get around that actually is uh, we need to create this dummy order here and I've already done it and I've, I've already realigned everything but I'll, I'll show you guys really quickly. But basically you create an order form and this is a dummy order just so you can get implant coordinates put in. So you select digital impression, select your corresponding implants and just set it as a simple abutment and then select the model and hit OK. And basically you go through, do your design and uh, you align those scan bodies. And if we go advanced explore order here, go in, you can see these scans here. So you have your raw preparation scan which has your scan bodies and then what you do is when you finish aligning those scan bodies, you hit save, you get this MB preparation scan as well. And what MB preparation scan is, it's the same scan, but now it's cut off those scan bodies and it's embedded those implant coordinates into the file. And this is because Model Builder needs these implant positions in order to um, generate those uh, analog positions, those print model analogs when you're printing out the model. But we can exploit this feature and actually use it to our benefit to bring this model, this digital impression model, into our uh, digital, our wax up bridge now. So now that we have this file, we're going to pay attention where that is and we're going to go ahead and create a new order again. I've already created it, but you want to make sure that your order form here corresponds with your previous ones. You want those same teeth positions selected and you just want to choose, I'm going to go in direct to multi-unit here, but you go and select that and wax up bridge <coughs> and go ahead hit OK. And now we're just going to import our objects, right? So we're going to import here. This was our folder, so we go here, control C, control V, grab that MB preparation scan, and then we're going to go and we're going to grab our wax up as well, and that'll be here. And we're going to go to the CAD folder. And we're going to go to the upper. Hit OK. <coughs> so now we go ahead and we can see that we have that in there. We go 3D preview as well. And you can see we have our wax up bridge. So now we just I'll just go through actually do the design. And we'll make pretty quick work of this because everything's basically already lined up. Everything's already set. We just have to go through kind of the, the formalities of it all. So clues alignment's good. <coughs> 
abutment positions are set, set the direction. And now it's going to ask us to mark all of our sites. Sometimes this can be a little bit of an issue because if the abutment, especially if it's like multi-unit or tissue level, anything like that, it'll kind of pop up above the uh, the margin of the your your wax up there. So we'll see how this one goes. Should be fine. Let's see here. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. So you can see this line here. We're just gonna. draw it below. This part's a little bit tedious, not the end of the world though. You can also just clear the spline and just set. Be nice if we had the option to sculpt our wax up, but uh, you can do that through um, copy denture actually. So ideally, you want something more like this, but not the end of the world. It should work just fine. Sometimes it will throw an error. If that does happen, I'll just bring it into copy denture and sculpt these areas away a little bit. Okay, and now we'll hit preview. And now our wax up bridge, for the most part, is pretty good. I'm going to go through and just sculpt a couple little spots here and there. Maybe right here. Anywhere that maybe needs it. So now we have this, and this of course is a try-in as I was saying earlier, so I'm not worrying about ang angulated screw holes or anything right now. Um, do I want to continue? Of course I do. We just want straight access holes because we're just going to print this direct to multi-unit, send them some multi-unit screws, and the doctor's just going to try this in just to assess the um, how everything is. I'm just going to set this to... Yeah, that's, that's the basics of how you do um, Lysa Bridge. So if we need to angle correct all these later, uh, usually when I correct with the multi-units actually, um, I might just do angle corrected ASC um, bases, but we'll, we'll see where that goes. Okay, thanks.